Bonjour, my friends. I took a bit of French back in high school, so I know some French. Like, I can read it. I can kind of understand it. I don't really know how to say it, speak it. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. All right. So what we're going to do today is take this dating market value test for men. I, I ran this test with a couple of my friends, some, men, some, some people who I really thought were like, I thought maybe a bit alpha or something, they, or they had a really good market value, but this thing gave them the truth. So I'm going to take it, and you guys can follow along and take this test with me. Maybe this test is bullshit. Maybe it isn't. Maybe there's some truth to it, but we're going to try to be honest. I just tried taking it earlier, so this is the second recording. Uh, I lost count. I had to take, find out what the heck my BMI was, what, how much I made a year, take an IQ test and never give me the results. So let's take it again. Try to be a bit honest here. All right. So this is a system for determining your dating market value if you are a man. Dating market value is a measurement of how you stack up against other men in the competition for attracting female interest. Be honest with yourself taking the survey. It will give you a fairly accurate assessment of the quality and number of women you are capable of attracting for a sexual relationship. Girls, you may take this quiz for your boyfriend to see if you are slumming it or about to be cheated on. Let's get it. All right, so first and first question, how old are you? If you're under 25, zero. I'm 31, so one point. Question number two, I need to write this down, bro. Okay, how tall are you? Under 5'9", negative one, so I'm 5'6", so back to zero points. What is your BMI? So I looked it up earlier and I used to weigh 100 and something kilos, so my BMI was like 35. I've lost some weight, but I'm pretty sure I'm still like around over 27. So I get negative one points. How much do you bench press? I believe I bench press 63, around 63% of my body weight, which is zero points. Number five, what does your hairline look like? I don't have a full head of hair. Well, I mean, I could grow it out. It's just gonna, I'm gonna look like freaking Super Saiyan Goku. Bald, but you are dark skinned. Is this considered dark skinned? I mean, if I stayed on the sun longer, I'm pretty sure I'd get even browner. So I guess I'm not dark skinned, so I'm just bald. So we're down to negative two points, guys. How much money do you make? What should I put, guys? How much money do you make? Under 40K and you're out of college. On negative one. So I would do negative one points. All right, do you have a car? I have bicycles. So no points for that, yo. Down to negative four, guys. Are you good looking? On a scale of one to 10, maybe a five, a six, maybe a seven, maybe on a good day. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just stay safe and put zero. So I'm still at negative four guys. Have you ever played a leading role in a team sport? No, so zero points. What is your occupation? High status, like a doctor, lawyer, stockbroker, executive professor, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I can't, I'm a, I mean, I'm a supervisor. I'll just put it negative five, DM. I don't know if I've ever really cried on camera before, but you guys might see it here. How many friends do you have? I got Sugar King, shout out to Rudy, what's up bro? I got Terry, all right, I would consider these guys friends, or maybe not, I don't know. Do you guys come, think about, would you guys say I'm your friend? Uh, Banana Boy maybe, <laughs> what's up bro? So three, uh, my best friend who lives in Florida, four. My boss, I would consider him my friend, five. Five friends, so zero points. How many friends have you met through the internet that you have never seen in person? I don't think I have any friends who are online, so I have zero points. When was the last time you went to a house party? I would say over a year ago, negative six. Oh, my heart. Um, have people besides your family called you funny? I would say a few have. So I'm at zero points, negative six. What is your IQ? I took a fucking IQ test and it wasn't even, it was a free test, but no free result. I wanna, I'm gonna stay safe and say I'm zero points. I, I'm not that dumb. Okay, at a party, which happens first? You approach someone or someone approaches you. I would say I occasionally approach first, so I'm at zero. Have you ever been in a serious fight where real punches were thrown and you felt like you wanted to kill your opponent? I was trying to punch this guy. He was shooting me with a BB gun. I was on the bed and he, he just comes into the room and starts shooting me with a BB gun. I was like, fuck bro. I went up to him and I started wailing. But the thing is, um, my friend and his sister were holding me back and this guy was trying to hit me in the nuts and he fucking was missing and shit. I didn't want to kill him. Like I wanted to kill him. I was, but that was like a long time ago. We were in high school. Would you guys say that was, that was a real fight? Like he was shooting me with a BB gun. So I want to say yes. Have you ever been arrested? Yes. I got arrested right at the UI. I've shared this before. You were on a second date with a girl. You go to kiss her. 
and she turns her cheek to you and says, slow down, I'm not that kind of girl. Hmm, would you say, sorry? Would you say, yeah, well, no prob. Would you say, this could be trouble because I'm that kind of guy. I have gotten rejected. I went to go kiss a girl and she said, I'm not, I'm not into you. I was like, oh, sorry. Oh, my bad. I forgot what I said. I don't think I said sorry. I didn't apologize. Because then after we went, we ate. Now if I did, I haven't done that recently. I mean, if I had the balls to kiss her, I'm pretty sure I would say something different. Like, oh, my bad. If you answered A, subtract a point. If it's B, no points. So I think I'm at no, I'm not gonna four. Chatting up a pretty girl you just met in a bar. After a few minutes, she asks you to buy her a drink. Yeah, I'd probably say I'm not an ATM. Uh, you've just met a cute girl in a club and have been talking with her for five minutes when she abruptly changes the topic to a raunchy conversation about her multi-orgasmic ability. She tells me, yeah, you know, I get wet, and blah, blah, blah. I'm just trying to come up with a fan scenario here. I'd be like, oh, that's cool. Thanks for the medical report. <laughs> hmm. I think I'd just say, I'd have a look of mild disdain. No points, so it's negative four. The pickup has been going well. Later in the night, she leans in and begins making out with you passionately. You feel like a king and your jeans suddenly feel, feel much tighter. I did this with a girl. Like we, we danced together and next thing you know, we started making out. I just kept making out with her until she, I think she stopped. So I would continue making out with her for as long as she wishes. <laughs> you go to a bar, 20 feet away, you away are a pretty girl, a fat girl, and an average guy talking amongst themselves. The pretty girl briefly eye flirts with you. In response, you eye flirt back and forth a few times before approaching 20 minutes later, immediately approach in a direct fashion, maintaining stride eye contact with your target, immediately approach from an indirect angle, looking around the room distractedly on the way over to your target as if you might see an even prettier girl somewhere, and finally delivering your open opener from over your shoulder. I flirt back and forth. Okay, so we're, we're looking at, she looks at me, and then maybe she's winking, and then I wink back. I'd probably approach her, to be honest. Um, so that'd be zero points, so I'm still a negative four. Who do you address first? The pretty girl, the fat girl, or everyone? I do everyone. After getting the whole group engaged in conversation and having a good time, your target blurts out, hey, nice pink shirt, are you gay? That has happened to me once. This, I was set up with this girl, and next thing you know, she, she, she asked me if I'm gay. I don't know if I ignore her. I, I guess probably would. I'd just be like, look around and be like, what happened? In the middle of the conversation, you have to pee. You say, I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. You say, excuse me. Or you, you say nothing, you just go. I would say the first one, I have to go to a pair back. So oh, negative one, back to negative four guys. <laughs> you manage to get her outside your front door. There is obvious sexual tension. You want to close this deal. Maybe I'd even be like, you want to use the bathroom before you leave? B, it would be B. So let's say ne negative four. All right, so now we got the scores guys. <clears throat> There's 26 points to earn or lose based on the questions asked. The scoring breaks down as follows. Negative 26 points, why are you still alive? Negative 25 to tw negative 20, you're an omega and celib has, celibacy has its charms. Negative 15 to negative 15, you actively repulse girls. Your kind will usher forth the sex spot revolution. Negative 14 to negative 10, you're always getting foisted onto the war pigs. Negative nine to zero, lesser beta. You don't immediately discuss girls, but they just don't notice you. With much painful effort, you can redeem yourself. Um, one to nine, you're a classic beta. Catch some girl's eyes, usually the ones you don't want. Try not to make fatty fucking a lifestyle. 10 to 14, a few attractive girls in the bar will be intrigued by your presence, but you need game to close the deal. 15 to 19, congrats, you have crossed the Alpha Rubicon. A lot of cute girls will be pleased when you hit on them but you can still fuck up by being yourself. <laughs> 20 to 25, you're a natural. Many hot girls check you out and forgive your occasional pickup blunders. You always have a look of sexual satisfaction on your face. And 26, you're a super alpha. Booty sticks to you like bird shit on car roofs. So I'm a negative four. I'm a lesser beta. I don't immediately discuss girls. They just don't notice me. That was it. That was for fun. If you guys want to take that test, it was, this is a cool, uh, thing it's mainly for us guys. I don't know if I should be, be uploading this, but I'm uploading it anyway Anyways until next time